So for section 1.3.4, problem number five, we compute another limit. This time is x goes to infinity. So as x gets bigger and bigger, what happens to the function? So first off, let's just try to simplify this a little bit. We look at the limit as x goes to infinity. Let's factor out the denominator. So 1 over square root of the quantity x squared minus 10 times, well, let's actually take another step here and simplify the numerator as well. So we have 2x minus 2 times 9 over the common denominator 9x. And we're taking the limit of this entire quantity as x goes to infinity. Well, let's see, we've got a couple of different terms here, so let's actually multiply it out. So we look at the limit, of, uh, limit as x goes to infinity of 2x over square root of x squared minus 10, where, um, excuse me, I should also have a 9x here, or 9x. square root of x squared minus 10. Where all I did here is just multiply this by the first term in the second part of the product in, the, um, in this part here. And then subtract off uh, minus 18, or subtract off the limit, rather, as x goes to infinity of 18 over 9x times the square root of x squared minus 10. Well, here we get some, a little bit of cancellation here. We can get rid of the x's. So that just leaves us with a constant in the numerator and something in the denominator that's going to be increasing as x gets bigger. So bottom term is going to be getting bigger and bigger and bigger, which means that this whole term here is just going to go to 0. And we look at the second term, a similar thing is going to happen. We already have a constant up in the numerator and the denominator, both parts, both the 9x and the x square, square root of x squared minus 10, are just going to get bigger as x gets bigger. So the whole term is going to go to 0. So we end up with 0 minus 0, or just 0.